Let me tell you something, if there's three things I love in this world, it's Ludwig designing thumbnails and my cat Toast. And when you know what, just this past week, Ludwig announced a contest to see who could design the best thumbnail. It's two out of three, it's not half bad. So I go outside, I shoot me some photos, I craft up a pretty mean looking thumbnail, if I do say so myself. I send that bitch off into the ether, and then I wait. Until the review live stream where I just witness all my dreams come true. All around, it's a thumb up. That's an easy thumb up. Let them through. I immediately started absolutely lactating with delight. Oh baby, that's right, I was in, I got the dub. I was positively ecstatic to be one of 12 moving on to the next round. That was worth it. Oh, and speaking of next round, you have to make a video of you breaking a world record. I would recommend doing it with a video game, like a random ass video game on speedrun.com. A speed run. This 2016 haircut having motherfucker could have us do anything, and he wants a speed run. I, I would rather do an early days Mr. Beast challenge. Okay, look, 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 look. No shade to speedrunners at all, okay? I'm sure somehow you have a very fun time doing this. But the words speed and run are two things that are not on the list of things I love in the world and are, and do not describe me or anything I do at all. I'm a very slow operating guy. I think slow, I eat slow, I talk slow. So I was pretty upset upon hearing this, but at the same time, Mike Crocker ain't no little piss baby, so I kept things cool and rational. Kinda. Well, anyway, I got my shit together. I went to speedrun.com and put together a plan. Okay, here's the strat. Ludwig in his stream said that we should find a really obscure game that basically has no run times or really easy to beat run times, stuff like that, and just be one of those. Well, I think that's weak. If I'm gonna break a speed run world record, I want it to be for a game that's dignified and good. That being said, I recently bought a PS3 for the sake of nostalgia. And I've been playing a hell of a lot of Little Big Planet. There's a level in Little Big Planet where you pull out a little piece of styrofoam and that has a little prize bubble behind it. And there's a meme run where you take that little piece of styrofoam and bring it all the way to the end of the level with you. And while Little Big Planet is a big game, especially when it first came out, this little category, it only had eight runs in it. I watched the video of the current world record to kind of get a feel for how to do it and everything. And it's quick, the, the, the record is two minutes and 29 seconds. So it's easily repeatable. And I kind of felt like I could do it. Little Big Planet, styrofoam percentage, you are mine. So I played the hell out of Little Big Planet, but only on this one level and doing this one weird task. And it was short and repeatable, so I did it a bunch of times. I got pretty good at a lot of things, but there were still some light glitches that I had to learn how to do and how to do them efficiently, and I, I really got it down. The problem though was that you had to do these little techniques perfectly, otherwise the entire run was trash. So I got really good, I tried really hard, but the best time I could get, and I didn't get this on camera, was three minutes and 30 seconds, about a minute over the world record. And I got to the point where I just got really frustrated, and I just, I I really feel like if I dedicated some time, maybe about a week, then I could break this record. But once again, time is not on my side right now. As a matter of fact, at the time that I'm recording this exact voiceover, it's 11.30 a.m. on Wednesday. So the deadline for this video is in about eight and a half hours, and I still <laughs> have not broken any record of any kind. Now, thank God I know of a guy named Taylor Renwick. First of all, I wanna shout him out because he made me aware of this contest in the first place, so thank you, Taylor, for that. But like a real homie, he's been keeping up with my progress as I've been making this video. And so when I got to telling him, hey, I'm a dumbass and I put this off until the last second, and I don't even know what game I'm doing yet. Taylor, oh, he sprung into action. And he found the perfect storm of a game. It's on speedrun.com. It only has one run. It's not very good. And I shit you not, the name of the game is Rick Roll I 64. It's a meme version of GoldenEye. You have to kill Shrek in it. What the fuck? Okay, perfect. This is the perfect game to do this with. What is an emulator? He walked me through, he set me up with the emulator in the game and the and the mod and all that crap. It thank you, Taylor, so much. I love you to death. No hetero. Alright, baby, here we go. Time to beat his 143. Excuse me. Time machine. No glitch or hacks, man, just all skill. Oh, through the door. That was a hard part. Oh, Shrek's talking. Sorry, dude. Got a record of break. Oh my god, okay. Bah! All right, there it is, Ludwig. There's your stupid speed run. Goodbye.